iCAD Index Card Any Day, Day 2. Today I used an ink soaked paper towel, scraps from a torn card, text from an altered book project, a torn piece from a calendar page, and two quotes to transform a plain index card. These bits of leftover pieces magically became my art rather than their normal trash can destiny. Okay, I am going to work on my iCAD index card any day. And I've done day one. This is day one. So I am ready for day two. And I am going to use, I have a pile of items from leftover projects that I've been working on. I have a paper towel that has metallic paint on it and Dilutions inks and this area right in here I find very interesting. I like this, but I like this metallic. So I think I'm going to collage that. I have some pattern tissue. I have some blue strips here that I cut off. I have some measuring tape. I've got a piece of linen. I've got a little piece of pattern tissue. This is from the actual pattern, from a red work pattern. I've got the clipping when I trimmed off my vintage sewing page that went out. And I also have the card from it. And I noticed that there's some interesting designs up in here. Got a calendar that says just about July 2013. It's September, not July, but I still like the July. I have a piece of a sampler. Some more calendar numbers here. I've got a cellophane that I might just use to put everything back in. And then I have a painted background paper, very metallic. Looks like that would go with that, wouldn't it? So, and I have an index card. And this is day zero, zero, two. Oh, and I also have my white speedball ink. Okay, I'm getting ready to start on my index card for any day. And I'm fast forward through this segment because I do spend a, a lot of time choosing things and just doing things like dry time and collaging that you've seen me do before. I decide to write day two on my index card, and I'm going to do this on all my index cards, write what day it is before I work on them. So I'm looking at the metallic and the ink soaked paper towel, and I decide to work on a portion of that paper towel and clutch that down on my index card. So I get that all collaged down. I'm using Mod Podge for paper simply because I have it and I need to use it up. I've had it for years and it's, it's going to get used. And I probably will not buy any more of it. I'm going more toward the Liquitex uh, matte gel medium. Much happier with it. I'm working on a piece of wax paper. And you'll see when I use my heat gun that uh, between the Mod Podge and the wax paper, it gets very sticky on there. Sometimes I almost have to peel that index card off. Now I rip out those maps off of that 
card scrap that I have and I'm going to use those and I'm playing with that little linen scrap uh, trying to decide the best placement for them. What I'm seeing out of this is an ocean, earth, sky, sea. That's what I'm seeing in that ink soaked paper towel. So I trim off a piece of that that uh, sampler. I kind of like the little cross stitches up there. They just add a decorative element and uh, I collage down that round earth map which eventually becomes a pebble in the ocean. You'll see that later. Now here's where I'm spending a lot of dry time because I put a lot of Mod Podge on there, paper Mod Podge, and it needs to dry. I rip up some of those old text pages and collage those on the back of the index card. Again, to use them up and to add a little interest to the back of the card. I'm adding those two pieces of red work uh, pattern pieces and here's where you see where I get kind of frustrated with the Mod Podge. It does not really do what I want it to do and I think the heat gun kind of make it bubble up. Um, well I cut out this little calendar, the little houses off the calendar page and I'll collage that down. But you'll see here, what see how that pulled off of that wax paper? Um, that heat and that Mod Podge just kind of was an interesting experience. Here's where I get frustrated with the Mod Podge and that on the back wasn't even gluing down for me so I put my Mod Podge for paper away and get out my Li Liquitex Tex, uh, matte medium which I find it to be kind of a thinner consistency and uh, I just use my hands to put a whole a layer on the front and back but by that time this index card is very wet. I don't want to even put it down on that wax paper as I'm drying and I kind of rest it up on that lid there. Just drying everything off. I pull my wax paper completely away and just work right on my... I have a silicon mat on my table that I'm working on. Here again making sure everything is glued down on the front flipping it over to the back now I'm reaching for my sanding block I'm going to distress the edges of this index card just to kind of smooth them down because that was a paper tissue that I folded over now I'm thinking that I want to stencil through that those sprocket holes on the edge of the paper and I'm using some Deco Arts metallic. I don't like how it turns out but I do like how I can just use it to distress the edges. Now in fact I distress the entire back of that index card with that metallic. It's an espresso color which is kind of a goldish brown. Just adds some aging to the index card. Now I'm getting out my glaze, my Liquitex glaze medium. And that just adds a real shiny coat to it. I dry that all off and now I'm starting to do something that's my new toy. That's that speedball white ink and my dip pen. I want to see how it writes over a glazed surface and it's doing very well in my opinion. So now my index card is taking shape and I put a quote on there from uh, Blaise Pascal, which says that the entire ocean is affected by a pebble, and my map of the entire earth becomes a pebble in the ocean, and it just amazed me how this index card became, how it grew out of a scrap of tissue paper and a torn piece of a card, and that I found that quote, and it just all came together. I'm just playing with some decorative stitches along the border, just seeing how my ink works over that glazed paper towel and I'm very happy with it. I'll be using, you'll be seeing me do more of this dip pen drawing in the future. I'm kind of my new toy. So now I just dry everything off because I want to flip it over and work on the back. I have another quote for the back the small town quote which is a whole different see look at the texture on that card and it's shiny now I'm gonna work on the back 
making sure everything's dry, testing out my pan, and the quote on the back says, I wish that I could show you, I wish I could show you the little town I was born in. And I think it's by Kristen Hanna. The quote, and I actually attribute the quote to her, Kristen Hanna. Then I just draw little X's all around the border just as a decorative border. And that really is the finish of my index card. So you'll see me flip it over a couple times. That's the back. I dry it off. I'm all done with it. Now I flip it over a couple times, sign it, and date it. Now I'm ready to slow down and show you a close-up of it. And here's a close-up of the back. Close-up of the front. I'm going to be doing some more work with this white ink, I think, on my next index card. So now I'm getting ready to put it in my little iCAD flip index flip holder book that I have. I'm getting it out right now. And I'm going to put it on the back of day one. I just kind of fit it in there. Got it all in there. And I'm just showing you that it is my iCAD index any day project. So I hope that you've really enjoyed watching me create this index card. I already know what I'm going to do for day three. Um, it's going to be with the white speedball ink and my dip pen again, but that's as much as I'm going to tell you. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing more of these art videos in the future. Thank you for watching.